Hey, what is up guys? Mr. Reverts here and the headquarters was such an awesome feature because it adds an entirely different level of interaction between other Call of Duty players across the world. However, since World War II launched, the headquarters was working fine for a lot of players, but now they have been in lobbies where it's just themselves and the only way they can get other players inside their headquarters is if they actually send their friends an invite. And a lot of players are wondering why is the headquarters messing up, why is it not populating, and from what it looks like the answer seems to be quite simple and it's purely based on the servers because again at launch the headquarters was working perfectly but then after so many people kept signing onto the game they were redirected to the headquarters and the server started to mess up again and what we see now is the end result just a lonely desolated headquarters. But for this to happen there had to have been millions of players all trying to sign on at once and to kind of back this up I remember that new players couldn't even get past the main menu and I think it took well over an hour for that issue to be fixed so since launch this game has been facing so many connectivity issues and it's almost gonna be a month since the game has came out and we are still dealing with these same issues and yeah it is frustrating and anyone that says it's not is lying to you because it is also for me I was beginning to get into HQ lobbies the day that patch came out with COD points and I thought the population issues were solved but then I soon found out that I was wrong because I think when word got out that COD points were going to be in the game and if you bought the game on the PSN store or the Xbox store then you got 1100 COD points for free then even more players were signing on to the game again which I don't know could be the reason why the population issues were not completely fixed because it all comes down to the servers maybe it was just a coincidence but I don't know that is just my theory also I've seen a lot of Xbox One players report over on Reddit and Twitter that they haven't even been inside a populated headquarters since the first time they put the disc inside their console whereas for PC players and PS4 players they're pretty much a hit or a miss at this point so when it comes down to it the headquarters adds a lot of stress onto the servers and the only way you are still playing the game right now is because the headquarters is down right now which is kind of giving me some positive thinking because I would rather have one feature in the game not working rather than the entire game as a whole not working now in my previous videos I have given out my theories on when the headquarters will be fixed and I will no longer do that because it really does seem like this issue is something that is bigger than I thought so I do not want to give any misinformation out to you guys and for the time being I guess I'm just gonna sit and wait for it to come back online now you might be saying to yourself well how can we rank up our social levels if the headquarters has nobody inside of it well one way to do that is actually by going to the pregame lobby and clicking on a player's name and there's an option that says commend them and it pretty much works the same way as commending someone inside the headquarters itself also you can message your friends and other random players and say hey I'm hosting a commanding lobby come join or something along those lines also for supply drops I think everyone should be saving them because whenever you open a supply drop around other players then they have the chance to earn XP towards their rank and their social levels and also supply drops for themselves so again save all your drops until the headquarters comes back online so I do hope this answered some questions you may have had let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments also drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video and thanks for watching till next time I'll see you later